horribly wrong because uh, I've never actually made it like this before. As I said, my, my streams are mainly experimental. And um, I was looking at it because I wanted to make sure I make a pate without butter, cream and all this, that and the other. So I had a bit of an idea and it should work out fine. Yeah, my work. My work's recently given me uh, me some <coughs> time off. I started having uh, panic attacks at work and breaking down, so they talked to me about giving me more days off. Super happy about the change. I have three days off now, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, you need to look after yourselves, guys, because if you don't, it's it really isn't good for you. And there's no point working, and it's just going to stress you out. You need to um, kind of take a bit of time out. Time out and um, relax. You can't you can't be doing two things too strenuous. I think this is going to be a bit of sound like an old man comment, but nowadays everything's like more fast paced. There's a lot more pressure being put on at schools and with tests and life in general nowadays is a lot more stressful. Everyone expects to be require high um, required to be kind of high expectations from everyone. Whereas back as in, back like, I don't know, 50 years ago, it didn't used to be so bad. Don't get me wrong, there probably was stress there and this, that and the other, but I don't think it's as stressful as nowadays. And there is a lot of pressure being put on. <clears throat> Thanks for the care, and I know it's hard. It's a new restaurant that we open and make the menu and teach everyone how to do things. To do, things get... Uh, a little over myself and I am okay now that the people know what to do. I can stand back a little and just make sure the food is perfect. Yeah, if... Are you the head chef there then, are you? Is that is that what it is? Or are you kind of delegating kind of foods or you're running a, br a brigade? Yeah, you need to trust your people that you've employed. You can't do everything. Um, <clears throat> that's one thing. You've got to learn to trust your brigade. Otherwise, um, you're going to have... Um, issues if you don't because you're going to end up overworking yourself and you've got to put that trust in those people and if they do it wrong so what if they do it wrong you just teach them again don't shout at them just go like right I want it done this way you know just be calm with them be cool headed and don't stress don't ever stress about it. it's not worth stressing about do you know what I mean well nothing's worth stressing about for sure you know things don't work out things don't work out you know it's it's not the end of the world so What we're gonna do? I'm gonna blend this up now. So bear with me one second while we're going to some blends. Uh, oh yeah, might help if we turn this on. Good job, chef. Um, yeah, turn your headset down if you're wearing a headset. Turn it down now, so I'm just giving you a little bit of notice. So you can turn it down. Radio. So I'm gonna blend this up now. in there as well. Two seconds, guys. Ooh, I've got a little bit left in there. I thought it was going to be a bit too much, but it's not. So let's drop the rest of this in. It's going to be quite thick, which is grand. I don't want it really, like, watery, which is not what we want. We'll add, it, add the rest of this juice, though, to it. More flavour. So, I'm going to give this a blend down. Watch your ears, guys. Awesome. Oh, let's have a look. How are we looking? Oh, it's not quite blended down yet. Let me just give us a bit of a mix first. Would like it to be a bit more smoother, but it's not too bad. Probably needs a, bit, a little bit of seasoning, but should be good. 
Wow, that's really, really good. That is delicious. So, yeah, what we're going to do, blend that for a bit longer. Really want to get it really nice and smooth, but I don't think it's going to blend too well. I'm just going to have to keep mixing it around. But yeah, flavour's there. Fantastic. Really good. And I'll get this rolled out in a bit. Shroom, how's it going? Ah, oh, Chef, good to see you. How's uh, everything doing? I'm doing really well. It's good to see you too as well, my friend. How's things with you? Hope you aren't doing good. Um, let me just refresh my, my page. For some reason, my page is just being all weird. Two seconds, guys. See if it will fix it. Oh, there we go. Seems to be okay. Um, I'm off to bed, Chef. Have a good rest of your morning. See you next time. Hasmorticus, thank you so much for being here, buddy. Really appreciate it. And yeah, have a lovely sleep. Take care. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. So, guys, watch your ears. I'm going to give this a good blend, blend up now. So, back to it, back to it. Blend in. down a little bit better now. Most of the onions are there. Cool! So, what we're going to do, we are going to roll this nice and thick as well. Great. So this should set quite nicely, which I'm happy about. So let's pop that in the wash. Um, I'm going to move all this so we can get this out and roll it properly. So I'm going to get this um, washed up as well. Let's move all this. We'll give this all a bit of a wipe down. Move that for a second. So look, my onions are doing fine. They're on a low heat. Just let them cool, cook down. They'll be absolutely fine. Lonely Soul, how are you doing? Cinder, good morning. Good morning, guys. How are you all doing? It's great to see you all here. Hope you are all having a fantastic morning, whichever it may be. So, what are we going to do? I think I'm getting a strep throat. How do you mean strep throat? I'm good. You mean a sore throat? <laughs> is, that, is that what you mean, Cinder? I'm good. How are you? I'm awesome. Thank you, um, Lonely Soul. I'm doing, having a fantastic, fantastic start to my day. We're making this uh, lovely pate, which we've just blended up with uh, pork livers, which a lot, a lot of people are like, I don't like pork livers. Ah, that's cool. I'm still doing it. Um... I, I think, to be honest with you, if you gave, gave, um, ate this, so I gave this to you guys and I didn't tell you what it was, I think you'd be very, very uh, happy with the food. Sometimes it can be a bit of a psychological thing when you think livers, and you're like, ooh, I don't like livers. And so a lot of people do think that, and they think, you know, if I gave you something, blindfolded you and said, eat this, and you'd be like, oh man, that, what is that? And I told you what it is afterwards, you'd probably feel sick. It's all a psychological thing more than anything. I think people like, you know, if you said to them, oh, it's liver, and you'd be like, oh, I don't like liver. You know, it's, a lot of people don't like it. It's just a psychological thing. It's like exactly me saying, eating like, you know, in like some certain Asian countries or wherever it may be abroad, eating cockroaches or something or, or crickets. And if you ate it blindfolded and you were like, oh, actually it's quite nice. What was it? Do you mean, it tasted like crisps. <laughs> But um, it's all a bit of a psychological thing more than anything. Uh, strep is worse than a sore throat. Okay, what, what's strep? I've never heard of a strep throat. Um, well, yes, but strep throat is more severe uh, version. Oh, right, okay. I've that's the first time I've ever heard of that. I've never heard of it before. Um, I hope you get better. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm, I hope you can get some, some medicine for it, for sure. But um, either way about it, I hope you're okay, my friend really hope you get it all sorted so 
So, this is all nice and smooth. What we're going to do, I'm going to roll it. Roll this out. Might have to roll a few of them. We'll see. So. I don't want to make it too big. Uh, we'll see. 